everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here, for sharing my content, hitting that like button and writing comments. You know how much I appreciate it and it does help my channel grow so that I can get pushed out into the YouTube world and find others like you have found me so that I can share all of my knowledge and do's and don'ts on keto. The, one of my new favorite YouTube channels is the Ketogenic Woman. She is a fellow Canadian. I have spoke with her a few times. She has become a friend of mine and I just absolutely love all of her recipes that she shares on her YouTube channel. So this recipe is actually straight from her YouTube channel and it is called the Pull Away Pizza Bread. It is amazing. I took this even to work and even my coworkers who are not keto, not on a diet, nothing, they fell in love with it. So it is a tried and true recipe, one that you can either have while you're on keto, one that you can have even doing your protein sparing modified fast days as well. So I will have her linked, uh, her YouTube video linked down below for this recipe. I made a little bit of an alteration on the bread, but everybody's kind of making alterations on this bread to kind of suit their needs. But this recipe is definitely a winner. So make sure that you go and check out her YouTube channel as well too. So all of this protein sparing modified fast bread all started with Maria Emmerich. I always give credit to her. She is the one that started this big fad and it is like overtaking the keto world. It is absolutely amazing. I know I love it. A lot of my subscribers have started making it and love it as well too. So I always have her um, website linked down below where you can get links to her cookbooks, her YouTube channel, and all of the things. I will always have her um, information linked down in the comments as well too. But if you're a pizza lover like myself, you guys know I have done a ton of different recipes for pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. I think I have tried five different recipes, I wanna say, that are all 100% keto, just made different ways. Um, so if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching because we're making pizza. So let's get started on our base that we will be using for our pull away pizza. So this is all going to be done in one mixing bowl, which is really, really nice. So let me start with the ingredients that you will need and then we are mixing it all together in this one bowl, which is absolutely fantastic. So we are going to need one cup of egg whites. So I have the carton ones here. Um, I have been using the carton ones actually pretty much with all of the protein sparing modified fast breads that I've been making. It's up to you. I know a lot of people have good results by using the fresh ones, but um, for me, this works perfectly as well too. So we will need one cup of egg whites. two teaspoons of cream of tartar. If I can get this open. Two teaspoons of cream of tartar. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. One third of a cup of the egg white protein powder. A half of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. half of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. So mine is actually a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm going to use two of these. A 
a dash of pink Himalayan salt. And one teaspoon of the Swerve icing sugar. All right, I am also going to add just a pinch of the yeast that I have gotten. It's just the traditional active dry yeast. Um, so this is not in the original recipe, but I have seen other people use it, um, especially from the YouTube channel, Loving It on Keto, uh, Wendy and Harry. So I'm just gonna do a little dash of the yeast. Literally, probably was only um, maybe even a quarter of a teaspoon, I would say probably. And I'm gonna add that, see how it tastes for flavor. So then what we are going to do is we are just going to put it in my mixer. I know that um, the ketogenic woman had used just a hand mixture, so it is definitely doable with a hand mixture. But I actually love using my big mixer here, uh, my KitchenAid. Jimmy had actually got this for me as a Christmas gift years and years ago. I have used it so much since then. So we are going to mix this all together and, until it is all mixed and combined thoroughly. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get some steep, steep peaks, which that's exactly how you want it. So that is pretty much all done. So let's get our pan all ready. All right, so what I am going to do, you can see, I'm just gonna angle this down a little bit. You can see my glass dish. I ordered um, some silicone, like a silicone oh. oven needs to be preheated to 325. My oven just went off. So I have ordered some silicone um, because honestly, I feel like just not only with this protein spraying modified bread stuff, but just with everything, I think it's gonna be overall um, helpful for me with things not to stick to my pans. But for now, what I'm going to do is I just put a little bit of olive oil on that. I'm gonna take parchment paper because apparently this bread does stick really, really well to glass. And I am just going to put that over the whole entire thing. And then when you put the olive oil on the bottom, the parchment paper tends to, to stick a little bit better um, to the pan. So that's why I do that first. All right, so there we go. That's kind of like a decent mold, I would say. And we are just gonna pour all of it onto that i'm going to spread it again with a little bit of olive oil i just today's my keto day but if you are doing a protein spring modified fast either use the silicone or um you know even with the parchment paper i feel like it's going to be a lot easier to like lift out so let's just fill this all with our mixture here and all of it is going in the pan i have here it's a nine by nine pan which I think will be perfect because since this doesn't want to be too, too thin because we do want to um, make it into like a pull away bread. So we want it to be a little bit more thick, okay? So we are just going to make sure that there's no holes, make sure it's definitely covering the outside. And there's all flatten it down before you start piling in all the rest of it. You can see my little bits of the of the yeast in this, which is fine. It doesn't bother me, but you can kind of see them in a little bit throughout everything. That's what you see here if you're seeing a few uh, little bumps. It's just the uh, the yeast. 
but we'll see how this turns out. I just figured that I might as well try it since I am trying like a pizza pull away bread. I feel like that would be um, a great kind of like, even just for a little bit flavor. Okay. So there we go. So we are going to put this in a 325 degree oven for 30 minutes. So let's do that. All right, this is it out of the oven. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just transfer it right out of there. All right, and then what we are going to do next is we are going to cut this in kind of a grid pattern and then we are going to put our butter and all of our toppings, stuffing it and putting it on top. going to put about half of our butter on top and we are actually going to put in one teaspoon of Italian seasoning in our butter mixture and one teaspoon of minced garlic we're gonna give that a good stir and then we are gonna pour half of this mixture over top of our bread, making sure that we get in all of the crevices that we cut. You're gonna to wanna to put your oven back on to 325 because we cooked it for about 30 minutes at 325 and then I did turn the oven off for it to leave in there for 10 minutes. But you're gonna to wanna to turn it back on as well too. All right, so that's about half of the mixture. And then what we are gonna do is we are going to stuff in the crevices. We are gonna put some mozzarella cheese and also some pepperoni. So you're just gonna wanna break apart the bread where you have cut it and stuff the cheese in there and on the top. Because remember, this is a, a pizza pull-away bread. You can use any sort of toppings that you want on this. Um, whatever kind of pizza toppings. You can do um, peppers, mushrooms, whatever sort of toppings that you would normally like on a pizza. But I'm just going to keep it simple with pepperoni and cheese today. And then I'm just going to top it off with the rest of the cheese. And then you will put the remaining amount of butter all on the top. to lightly cover this with some tin foil and we're going to put it back at a 325 degree oven for 10 minutes and then we will check on it take the tin foil off and then make sure that everything is golden brown and melted with the tin foil off for another five to ten minutes so this is it out of the oven 
I had baked it for another 10 minutes with the tin foil on, took the tin foil off, baked it for another 10 minutes, and then just put it on broil. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> uh, for two minutes on high. So I had taken a little piece, but it is definitely too hot to try right now. So I'm just gonna let it cool and then we will taste it in a few minutes. All right, I forgot to record it. I was recording for Instagram, but for the tasting, Me? all of us, well, both of us. So we have tried this. It is very good. You guys, Jimmy even tasted it and said it was all right. And for him, that's amazing. But this, oh, this is the best thing that I have made in a long, long time. It is, like I said, pull away bread. So literally by cutting it where you cut it in half, it is, it's the best thing that I've had in a long time. Um, so you can make this on your protein sparing modified fast days as well. You just won't use the butter. I know um, the ketogenic woman where I found this recipe, she had even used lower fat cheese. And you can make this easily on a protein sparing modified fast day as well too. Just limiting your ingredients. But this was absolutely amazing. The bread is not dry whatsoever. The cheese, the butter, absolutely everything. It's gonna be hard for me not to eat this whole entire thing, honest to God. So I will have the recipe linked in the, I will have the original recipe linked down below. It is the Ketogenic Woman. She is a fellow Canadian. I love watching her YouTube channel. That is where I found this recipe. Like I had said, the only thing that I added differently to her recipe was a little bit of the active dry yeast <clears throat> whether that makes a difference i'm not sure but this tastes like real normal um, pizza pull apart bread make sure you give it a try and let me know what you guys think so and make sure that you go and follow the ketogenic woman down below she just hit 10,000 subscribers so make sure you go and give her a follow Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I have eaten a little less than half of it and stopped myself, but I could easily eat this whole entire thing. But um, I just wanted to kind of show you the inside of it on how well the bread worked. That recipe is actually a keeper. I want to say the key um, for it not turning dry is going to be um, cutting back on the egg white protein powder because um, I feel like sometimes it is a bit dry but this was absolutely perfect definitely the butter and all the cheeses and everything helped as well too but this recipe is a keeper make sure that you write it all down and uh, keep it for either of your days of keto or your protein sparing modified fast days hands down my favorite way to have pizza now I don't even know if I'll make the traditional pizza I might just make this pull away pizza of bread because it, it was that delicious. So make sure you give it a try. Let me know what you're thinking of my videos as well. I always love hearing your feedback. Then make sure that you're hitting that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.